Welcome to this webinar, your daily skincare routine. Hi, my name is Jan Benham, owner of Pervez Cosmetics in the Netherlands. Over the past few years, we have increased our range of products quite substantially, which means it can feel overwhelming. The pursuit of a balanced, efficient daily skincare routine is a journey filled with choices, endless lotions, creams, and a sea of advice. So in this webinar, I'm going to guide you through crafting an ideal skincare regime using Paveza specialized products. We're also going to touch on essential oils as well. And together, we'll uncover the most effective strategies to nourish and safeguard your facial skin ensuring a radiant glow that stands the test of time. Ever find yourself rushing out the door, neglecting your facial skin in the morning? The repercussions might already be visible. Splashing water on your face doesn't quite do the trick either. Enter the game changer, cleansing. It's not just a step, it's a cornerstone of a skin skincare regime that maintains a youthful, clear complexion. Neglecting it could mean your skin bears the consequences. Now, when I'm talking about cleansing the skin, I'm not just talking about the face, I'm also talking about the neck and chest as well. And remember, one round of cleansing might not cut through the accumulated impurities and overnight dead skin cells. Embrace the extra time. Two rounds of cleansing delve deeper into pores, ridding your skin of the day's impurities and ensuring a fresh canvas every morning. So with the choices you have, there is the nourishing cleansing oil, which is really good for dry skin and also mature skin as well. We have the balancing cleansing lotion, which is good for both dry and oily skin. It contains the essential oil of geranium, which naturally balances the, um, the skin. Then we have the So Pure Cleansing Lotion and the so-called So Pure Cleansing Milks. So again, one is more for dry skin, one is for oily skin. And then we have the So Pure Cleansing Bar, which is a soap, a gentle soap which is useful for people who have acne conditions, but it can be used on most skin types. Why is cleansing so important? Well, it purifies your skin daily, ensuring a clean base for skincare. It reveals a natural glow by shedding dead skin cells. It helps with product absorption, so it primes the skin for better product effectiveness. And it's a self-care moment, a moment to de-stress and prepare for the day or night ahead. So efficient cleansing with Pervez, a quick guide. So you could prepare by wetting your hands, apply about a teaspoon of the cleanser of choice, rub your palms together, and then just massage your face. And for about 40 seconds, and then wash off using a damp cloth. That's the quick way. However, if you wear makeup, I would suggest getting two pads of cotton wool and wetting them, then putting the cleanse on the pads and then wiping off your makeup. That is a more efficient way of removing makeup totally. And repeat twice. Is it important to tone after cleansing your face? Well, you should look at the pH value of our skin. The skin on our face lies between 4.7 and 5.75. The pH of 7, that of pure water, is considered neutral. Now, when you cleanse your face, especially if you cleanse it with a cleansing bar or soap, that is actually above seven, higher than seven. So it's considered alkaline. So you need to get your skin back to below seven. And hydrosols and toning lotions are slightly acidic. 
So that's one of the main reasons why you need to tone your skin. Now also toners do refine the pores. It helps to tighten pores without causing dryness or relying on alcohol. It also helps to remove any cleanser that is left and any, um, any makeup that might be left as well. And toning also primes the skin, providing an optimal service for serums and creams to absorb more effectively, boosting their penetration. So toners that we carry is a balancing one, which is very good for dry and oily skin. We also carry hydrosols, and there are various types of uh, hydrosols. Um, Immortel is extremely good for sensitive skin and allergy-prone skin. And then we have cucumber, which really is good for tightening. So if you have loose skin, cucumber and also witch hazel both tighten the skin. So you can use this as pads around your eyes. So I often soak some cotton pads with either witch hazel or the cucumber hydrosols and just let them sit on the around the eyes for a few moments in the morning in order to tighten the skin. And then we also have the calming hydrosol, which is good for dry skin. So now we come to serums, a brief overview. Now we have a number of products at Pavez Cosmetics that could be considered serums. For example, the Divine Face Oil and the BioClear Oil. These are anti-inflammatory products and can be used as is alone or pre-moisturizing. So you could apply and then moisturize on top. How, how serums work is that they penetrate the skin much quicker than if you were applying a moisturizer. So they have deeper penetration and they reach deeper into the epidermis potentially aiding in skin cell rejuvenation. So the serums contribute to overall skin enhancement, offering various benefits based on their specific formulation. So moisturizers, essential points. So our moisturizers do incorporate natural SPF from high quality vegetable oils providing some basic sun protection. If you combine that with the mineral foundation that we carry as well, you should have enough sun protection for, to go about your daily activities. I'm not talking about going out in the sun and baking in it. I'm talking about just your daily activities. So the moisturizers help uh, protect from the environment. They help with um, moisturizing the skin, locking in the moisture in your skin, rehydrating, and especially good to add to a highly exposed facial area. And of course, don't forget your neck and chest. So some specific moisturizers we have are things like, obviously it's in the name, age-proof defense for aging skin, ultra moisturizer cream for dry skins, balancing um, moisturizers for combination skins. And then we have the revitalizing cream, which is specific for people who have a lot of allergies and inflammation on their skin. Eye creams, should you apply them? Well, fortunately, our Pavez products extend up to the lash line. So they redu do reduce the necessity for a separate eye cream in some cases. But we do have a Violift eye cream for those who wish it. And it's got a slightly purple violet look to it, a lilac, I would say. And it helps to just diminish the appearance of dark circles under the eyes. So now we come to the skin. I'm going to do a little anatomy lesson here. So the skin stands as the body's largest organ acting as a protective barrier. The skin continually renews itself, taking about 28 days for the cells to move from the basal layer to the horny layer, which is the outer part of the skin. 
So there's a constant rejuvenation cycle. As we get older, this process takes longer. The melanin in the deeper skin layers provides co color and serves as a shield against the UV rays. And the top layer of the skin contributes to household dust, showcasing its shedding nature. The skin comprises of two main layers, the epidermis, the outer layer, and the underlying dermis. And the dermis contains the elastin and collagen fibers, which is the protein fibers in the skin, and also contains all the capillaries and lymphatic vessels in which there's a constant exchange of nutrition coming in and waste, waste products being removed. The subcutaneous layer, which is the fatty layer, is a protective cushion. So this works as a, a protective role, serving as a buffer between the dermis and underlying muscles. This layer acts as a cushion, safeguarding blood vessels and nerve endings. It provides thermal insulation. And the layer aids in retaining body heat and provides insulation due to its poor heat conductivity. So when we add essential oils, the reason why essential oils work so well is the essential oils actually go into the subcutaneous layer. They are absorbed into fat. So it, it works as a receptive medium which helps to impact skin care and treatments with essential oils. Understanding genetic influence. So good skin quality often runs in families. So if your parents have good skin, it may play a role in your skin's aging process as well. Now, there can be inherited skin conditions, and I call this the eczema factor. So if you're, one of your parents or grandparents have had eczema, asthma, or hay fever, then their children and their grandchildren may also have any one of these conditions or be predisposed to either eczema, hay fever, or asthma. But despite hereditary conditions, practicing skincare from a young age can significantly contribute to maintaining healthy skin. At Pervez, we do use both essential oils and carrier oils in our products. Now, essential oils are distillate products from plants and herbs. And these are very small amounts of the plant, basically. So, for example, it takes 30 roses to make one drop of rose oil. So, obviously, we don't use a whole bottle of essential oil on our skin, and we don't need to. So the maximum in a treatment of essential oil will be about six drops on the whole body. So, we use carrier oils to, as the name says, to carry the essential oils into the skin. So carry oils are anything like a hope oil, plant oils, sunflower oil, and they have their own unique properties. So carry oils generally only go through the epidermis to the dermis, and they carry the essential oils, and the essential oils themselves have beneficial properties to the skin and to the body. So essential oils have the ability, once they are carried into the skin, they penetrate much deeper than carrier oils, and they go into the dermis where they can attach themselves onto the lymphatic, no, uh, lymphatic system, the circulatory system. They can also penetrate the fatty globules below your skin surface. So that's how they enter the body and they work on the body as a whole. So it's a holistic skincare. So now we come to hydrosols and hydrolats. Hydrolats are produced the same way as essential oils, through steam distillation. 
they're much less concentrated than essential oils. So what you generally get, uh, get out of the distillation is the hydrolat and then the essential oil floating on top. So rose water is relatively cheap, but rose essential oil is very expensive. This makes it much gentler to use. So there are no contraindications to hydrolats. As long as you use them in, you can use them in any situation or in any age group, including on babies. So hydrolats are antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and calming to the skin. They contain plant molecules known for the anti-inflammatory properties, aiding in skin healing and enhancing overall skin health. So the benefits of using essential oils, they do improve the circulation and certain ones like rosemary, geranium and cypress enhance circulation, aiding cell repair and rejuvenation. They stimulate and balance the hormones and that's clary sage and geranium is really good for that and it helps to balance the skin as well. So balancing the sebaceous glands balancing dry and both oily skin as well. They do have the ability to tighten the skin and lift. And frankincense and neroli essential oils are known for their skin tightening and lifting properties. They help to regenerate skin cell. So helichrysum, that's also known as immortel, and carrot seed essential oils promote skin cell regeneration aiding in the reduction of age spots and fine lines. And last but not least, it has anti-inflammatory effects. And lavender and chamomile essential oils are, possess anti-inflammatory properties, soothing irritated skin. So when you look at our products and look at the list of ingredients, you'll see the divine base oil contains chamomile, which means it's very calming to the skin. We have helichrysum immortel in our reju um, rejuvenating cream, our balancing cleanser and toner, both contain geranium. So the effects of using these are enormous on the skin and have a lot of benefits, not just looking pretty. So I've included here a few recipes for you that you might want to play with. We do sell at the Aroma Shop some basic white lotion, which is unscented lotion that you can use, or you could use just plain a jojoba oil or another carrier oil. So Rose and Neroli are renowned for their floral scents and possess remarkable healing properties. They aid in promoting circulation and are known to assist in preserving collagen. This is the collagen protein fibers, which delays the formation of wrinkles. So a nice recipe would be to blend two drops each of Rosa Neroli essential oil with two tablespoons of shea butter, or just apply one drop of rose into, um, take a little bit of the shea butter into the palm of your hand, warm it up, apply one drop of pure rose oil in there, and then apply onto the skin. You could also add to the, the unscented white lotion, or you could even add a couple of drops to say 15 ml of jojoba oil in order and then apply it that way. Now, rose and neroli essential oils are very expensive. So we at the Aroma Shop sell these oils as a 10% blend in jojoba. I find that it's just as powerful. These are very, very powerful oils. And just using one or two drops of a 10% blend is very efficient and works just as well as using the fully concentrated. So that's one way that you can save a little bit of money with those oils. Now we come to using frankincense and carrot seed oil. So for tightening and scar reduction, these oils are the best for that. They aid in tightening and firming sagging, sagging skin reduces the appearance of scars, dark marks, 
and age spots. These oils also balance the skin's pH balance and protect against free radicals and promote the regeneration of skin cells from within. So you could make a beautiful anti-wrinkle treatment by blending three drops of frankincense oil and four drops of carrot seed oil in 20 ml of jojoba oil. Apply this blend twice daily on your face to stimulate collagen production and delay under eye wrinkles. Now we come to treatments and also what oil, what products might work best on your skin. So we've come up with some suggestions for you and we're gonna kick it off with people who have oily and acne prone skin. So you could make your own bedtime mask with using um, carry oils like hazelnut or jojoba as a bedtime mask. These oils help to absorb excess sebum without being absorbed by the skin. So they don't cause blackheads. And you could put, um, you could put different essential oils overnight into that blend as well. For example, a drop of juniper berry or a drop of lemon or pettigran or lime into the jojoba. So just one drop in a little bit of jojoba, massage it into the face and it will help oily acne skin. So the products we recommend is So Pure Cleansing Bar, Purely Men Face Wash, or Pure Skin Cleansing Lotion. For a treatment, you could use Revitalizing Scrub and Clay Mask once a week. And for toning, I would suggest the Balancing Toning Lotion or just plain Witch Hazel Hydrosol. For treatments, there's the Serum of Pavez BioClear. And if you want, wish to use a, a moisture cream, I would suggest the Revitalizing Moisture Cream. So that is for acne and oily skin. Now we have combination skin. This is where most people usually have. So they might be oily down the T-zone, which is on the nose, the forehead and the chin, and then dry on the cheeks. So again, you could do a bedtime mask using a carry oil such as hazelnut or jojoba. And you could add, I would suggest things like balancing essential oils like geranium or pettigran or mandarin. And you could add just one drop of any of those oils, essential oils, lemon as well, into a little bit of jojoba or hazelnut oil and massage it into your face as a nighttime treatment. This will help to balance the sebaceous glands and are both all suitable for both oily and dry skin types. So the suggested products I would suggest is either the So Pure Cleansing Bar or the Balancing Cleansing Lotion. For a treatment, you could use the Revitalizing Scrub and Clay Mask once a week maximum. Tone with the balancing toning lotion, and you could also use any of the other hydrosols. And then there is a choice of two creams a balancing day and night cream or the revitalizing moisture cream. So that is for combination skin. Then we come to dry skin. So if you want to do a specific nighttime treatment, you could opt for easily absorbed carry oils such as the pure rose hip that's really lovely or macadamia or calendula these oils provide deep nourishment nourishment and hydration for dry skin so the, especially the rose hip is very healing on the skin the essential oils that you could add and again i would suggest just one drop is neroli you could do it as a 10 percent blend lavender chamomile, either Roman or German, rose or palmarosa, because these oils offer soothing and hydrating properties, beneficial for dry and mature skin types. The products I would suggest would be for cleansing, the nourishing cleansing oil or the balancing cleansing lotion. 
for a treatment, you could use the bioactive healing mask, and that could also be just applied and put on overnight. For toner, you could use either the calming toning lotion or even the balancing toning lotion. And for treatment uh, for the moisture cream, you could use a little bit of the Pavez Divine Oil as a serum. And then we have an ultra moisture day cream, an ultra moisture and an ultra moisture night cream. So that is suggestions for dry skin. Now we come for mature skin. So we're looking here to reduce wrinkles and nourish the skin and reduce free radicals. So the carrier oils that I would suggest are rosehip, jojoba or argan because these oils provide deep nourishment and hydration. The essential oils, again, I would suggest neroli, lavender, carrot seed, rose or palma rosa, or even frankincense. And just one drop in a little bit of oil, put on the face and as a night treatment. So these oils possess rejuvenating and hydrating properties, beneficial for mature skin types. And the products I would suggest that you use would be the nourishing cleansing oil or the balancing cleansing lotion for cleansing. You could use the bioactive healing mask once a week. You could again apply on your face and leave it overnight. And for the toning lotion, I would suggest the calming toning lotion and or the cucumber hydrosol for tightening. And for the moisture cream, the, the Pavez Divine Oil as a serum. And then we have an age-proof defense day cream and an age-proof defense night cream. So that is for mature skin. Then we at Pavez do specialize in skincare for allergy-prone skin with people who suffer from eczema and rosacea. So the carrier oils suggested here would be things like a jojoba and rosehip. These are the less, least likely to trigger allergic responses and offer gentle hydration for sensitive skin. The essential oils that help with, uh, with anti-inflammatory properties include bergamot, juniper, geranium, chamomile, German or Roman, and immortel. So again, one drop of any of these in one of the carriers and put it onto your skin at night would help to soothe allergic reactions and inflammation. Products uh, suggested would be either the balancing cleansing lotion or the nourishing cleansing oil for as a cleanser. You could use the bioactive healing mask as a night treatment, but I would suggest doing a, a test area on say your arm, inner arm or part of your face first to make sure you don't react to that. For toning, calming toning lotion or the Immortel Hydrosol. And for the treatment, I would suggest the Divine Face Oil or the Revitalizing Cream or the Sensitive 24-Hour Cream. And again, I would suggest testing these first on an area that you don't mind, that see if it flares up, see how your skin is before you go ahead and apply fully to your face. So this is skincare for allergy prone skin. So the essential points for effective skincare. So routine importance. So prioritize a consistent and effective skincare routine for a healthy skin. It's important to cleanse and crucial for removing impurities. Moisturizing is equally important for maintaining skin hydration and health. And of course, also toning. Let's not forget the toning part. Skin care isn't just about appearance. It contributes to stress reduction and improved mental well-being, promoting a feel-good factor. Choose a skin care routine wisely and what you can do. It overly complicated or lengthy routines might not be sustainable for long-term adherence. So a suggested routine would be in the morning, cleanse, tone, and moisturize. 
in the evening, cleanse, tone, apply an eye or neck cream, serum and or night cream. Weekly treatment, you could use a mask once or twice a week for a few minutes between cleansing and toning. You could even apply a little bit of the oil, suggested oil, carrier oil, with a drop of the suggested essential oil as an in-between treatment as well. Remember to drink half a pint of water each time you cleanse to maintain hydration. And consider having a facial massage once or twice a month for relaxation and skin rejuvenation. And I want to thank you for listening to me. For more information about our product range, please get in touch with us. We are here to assist and provide you with the details you need. Feel free to reach out at any time. We're always happy to help. So for this presentation or for further advice, please email me and at Pervez Pontenel. And if you're interested in essential oils and do-it-yourself cosmetics, check out the aromashopper.com website.